Welcome to Ellen B. Show and Tell. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and you know I always start off that way but this time it's not just Ellen B. Show and Tell. This time I'm doing an info commercial. Yeah, so jot down this phone number ladies 1-800-111-111 and later on I'll tell you what it is you, I am selling, okay? Now here is my little journal and um, I, I like to call it a doodle journal. It's because there are no photos in it and it's the type of journal, as you can see, all kinds of brown craft and, and funky little items uh, that I fill up uh, after I take my trips. Uh, this one came from my friend Michelle, the paper addiction, and I'll have information below. And what I tend to do is doodle on it. So you see like the sewing marks over here. I use my trustworthy pen and I take it everywhere I go. Doctor's office, uh, while I'm waiting I might doodle, uh, the hairdresser under the dryer. So let's get started on this. This was a trip to New York that we took to visit my daughter and she had the most incredible news for us and that is that she had just returned from Australia with her boyfriend and the two of them were adopting. I was thrilled beyond belief. I mean, it was like one of the happiest moments of my life. And so this doodle journal is uh, dedicated to uh, Watson. So here we go. Um, this is the way I do it. I, uh, this was New York. Uh, I gather all the uh, business cards from restaurants and stores and cut out items from the newspaper and magazines when I'm there and then just fill up my little book. Uh, the cover has everything from Blossom, which was a store, um, and of course I added a Blossom. This is from Tim Holtz. New York City, obviously, and here is Watson. Okay, now you're wondering at this moment, I'm sure, is Watson, why the bat? Uh, perhaps he was born on uh, Halloween? No, no, that's not at all. Watson is a bat. He is a fruit bat. And he is my first and only grand creature. Uh, he was adopted in Australia and we really do have a lot of things in common because Watson as a fruit bat is a vegetarian as we are and the other thing is that um, Watson is the only mammal that flies. I didn't know that, did you? So please don't share this with Superman, Mary Poppins or Peter Pan, okay? Let's go inside. I like to add everything, bits and pieces. I mean, over here, this is actually from the jeans that I bought, skinny jeans, over at Kohl's, but I thought the tag was so cute. I had business cards, things from the hotel, uh, even my airplane ticket. Um, and I number each day for the day that we spent there, and this was September 7th. One of the stores we went to was Beads of Paradise, and I highly recommend it. Not only is their card fabulous, but inside the store it's terrific. I add all kinds of doodles, including the food that we ate, and lots of bits and pieces. A pair of shoes, because I always get a pair of shoes when I go there. This store over here is the Ink Pad, and the Ink Pad I highly recommend it. It's filled with wonderful stamps. Matter of fact, if you're going to New York, why don't you just shoot me an email or write down in the comment and I'll add some of my favorite uh, stores and restaurants for you. Oh, we saw Peter and the Star Catcher, which is a fabulous, fabulous play. It is a prequel to Peter Pan and really fun. Highly recommend that. And here is, again, New York, and these are the kinds of things that I do. These are little tiny leaves that I got over at Michael's Memories. I like the corners of my mind from the song, phone, and my daughter's telephone number, so I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> this page, oh, this was the restaurant where, across the street from our hotel, 
funky postcard. Um, and I added here, nectar, drink of the gods. No, the martini is. And this page is for Watson, my little vampire. Watson, our grand creature. Play with him. Welcome to the family. Hi, and this was day nine. It was September 9th. See, pages like this, I still have lots of room to doodle in. Here's a little chipboard. Sit and enjoy the taste of the city. And over here, oh, this is funny. It was really, really hot, like in the 90s. And instead of taking a cab, my husband decided to take the subway. And I warned him it was going to be terribly hot. He said, oh, no, no problem for him. But as a good scrapping husband, he brought me back his subway card. And so I named this Tony and the subway 100 plus degrees. And on the bottom, I put a new place soon to open on Broadway. Over here, I cut out from the newspaper a play called, a film called For Ellen, of course. Just added all kinds of ribbons that they handed out, tickets. My daughter and I went to the museum. Fabulous exhibition with fireflies and jellyfish and nature's flashlights. And then over here, this again, this was just something cut from the newspaper. Uh, a special clowning event, so um, another Watson tribute. And here's just from a business card, a great city is defined by its art. And I added this little thing from England. And this was from Allison. Hi, Allison. Thank you so much. Life is a circus. I even took this to work so I could work on it during lunch. Wink, wink. And this was one of my um, stamps, Do Not Bend. And here's the apple for the big apple. I think you get the idea. New York, vintage New York. I would like this page, although it's not finished. Magic happens when you least expect it. And then this is a stamp. It's a strange, magical world. Confidential. This is the tag from Michelle. And over here, the next four pages are all about 9-11. It was awesome being there for the 10th anniversary. And the two of us actually spent four hours listening and watching the relatives read the name of their loved ones who perished in the horrible, horrible 9-11. And so I just see that there's plenty of room for me to write. And in all of these, there are pockets. And what I've added were just, I like putting my bills, my receipts, just so that I can look back. There's an envelope, love deeply, again 9-11. As you can see, I had my sympathy there. And then in the evening, we went to see Once, which was another play, which is really good. It won the Tony, I think, for the best musical. And then here's Once is Not Enough. We'll do a little bit there. And then I'm going to add a lot about Watson. So Playbill, Bats in the Belfry. Uh, that's the London connection. <laughs> and New York, have fun, dream big. And Michelle added the E there for L and B. And then I just added this here. Just a quick note. Can't wait to go back. And then New York 2013. These are restaurants that our concierge told us we have to do. To do. Next trip. You see lots of envelopes here. And then away we go. I'm leaving on a jet plane. And this we landed in Bob Hope Airport in Burbank. And then on 9-12, it was lovely, a trip and welcome home. Another pocket, and in the back here, I just used the fax note from work, the Big Apple, L and B. Anyway, okay, <clears throat> so back to the info commercial. The Paper Diction sells these little um, doodle journals. And um, if you order now at 1-800-444-4444, or you can try 1-800-999-9999, and Michelle will not only send you a book, but she will include a Ginsu knife set and a Suzanne Summers sign thigh master, which I know all you ladies want desperately. So I hope that you will contact her. I hope you enjoy the book and um, leave a comment. Um, my uh, blog, The Woman's Waiting Room. And I hope you have a really nice day. Take good care. Bye-bye from the LMB.